Hello, children. I'm going to try this again. Now, it's day three after the Trump election. People are losing their shit. There's riots in the streets. People burning shit down again. California says they want to secede from the Union. And all because... Away! Away! You didn't give me what I wanted! You're not my friend no more! Away! Shut up. It's behavior like what we've seen in the last three days that's caused these things, okay? Just because you didn't get what you wanted doesn't mean you get to act like a bunch of children throwing tantrums. And that's all we've been seeing for the past, oh, at least ten years now. We're sick of it. And calling people names doesn't win arguments. It silences people, makes them go underground, become the shy voter, but it doesn't win arguments. Because you don't have an argument. You have a buzzword that you think is enough to discredit people. No, it's not. Especially when you have people like me who do a little searching, do a little research, and find out that you can't actually say what it is that the person you're against said to make them that kind of bad person. In the case of Trump, you can't actually say what it is he said that was racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic. You can't actually say anything he said because he never said anything. You claim that Trump says all women are pigs and slobs, but no, he said that about one woman who's probably heard that before from other women. Yeah, Rosie O'Donnell. That was it. That was it. And the tapes of when he was having a private conversation, he didn't know his mic was on. Yeah, that's not sexism. That's not misogyny. That is... Guy talk, guys talking about sex behind closed doors. Much like what happened with the Yale's men's soccer team. Guys talking about sex behind closed doors. Nobody was supposed to hear about it. Nobody was supposed to know about it. But somebody found out about it. And they get punished. And this right before the election. Something as mild as rating people 1 to 10. And saying what they like to do. Not what they've done what they like to do. Sex talk behind closed doors that women engage in as well. But when men do it, it's bad. It's awful. It's evil. No, it's normal. It's healthy. As long as they don't act on anything without consent, it's normal to talk about it. You're basically trying to screw with the natural process of things. When people are among their own groups with none of the other groups around, they talk shit. Men do it. Women do it. Black people do it when there's no white people around. White people do it, white people do it when there's no black people around. Asians do it when there's nobody else around. Native Americans do it when there's no one else around. People talk shit when they're among their own groups. But you've made it a crime. You've made disagreeing with women a crime. Even if there's nothing but bullshit coming out of their mouths. Like Zarna Joshi. Calling yourself, making a joke out of a name, is not sexual harassment. He didn't sexually harass her, but she went off on him. Saying hello to a woman. I don't know what that one's name was, but... Yeah, that was a crazy one, too. Saying hello to a woman is not sexual harassment. Disagreeing with a woman is not sexism. I should know. I'm a woman, and I disagree with you. I'm a woman. I've been disagreed with. I've taken it with a grain of salt. I've listened to what the person disagreeing with me has said. I've thought about it. And I've either said, yeah, you're right. Or, 
let's agree to disagree. But I haven't called him sexist. I haven't called him misogynist. I haven't called him any kind of woman hater. Because I know that people disagree. Not wanting people to dictate what pronouns are usable is not transphobic. It's basically saying, yeah, I can't tell what you are just by looking at you and I have a, absolutely no clue who you are. So I'm going to call it like I see it. That is not transphobic. If you can't pass for a woman, that's your problem. If you're not even trying, then you're not trans. If you are not even remotely trying to pass for the, the gender you're supposed to be transitioning into, either you've at your very start of tra your transition and should accept that people won't know yet, or you're not actually trans if you're not going through any of it. And yeah, that's another thing people, sick, people are sick of. Being so anti-science that you just make up bullshit out of the blue and expect people to not only accept it, but follow your rules on it. There's two genders and people who transition between the two. That's why it's called transition. You go from one to the other. Not stay in the middle. And go, oh, I'm non-binary. No, non-binary does not exist. You are either a man or a woman. If you are transitioning, you are a trans man or a trans woman. That's it. And trying to force five-year-olds to transition is child abuse. And putting them in safe schools to force sex down their throats? That's child abuse and grooming and pedophilia. We don't want any more of your shit. We don't want it. And so because we don't want it, and because we're so sick of it, what you get is Brexit. What you get is Trump. What you get is the rise of nationalism all over the world. And yeah, saying that you want strong borders is not, is not xenophobia. It is not racism. And for those of you who think it is, I live in Britain. I've got one word for you. Rotherham. It's not xenophobia to want to keep your children safe. It's not xenophobia to want to protect women. You want another word? Cologne. It is not xenophobia to want to prevent predators from getting at the weak individuals they are after. It's not. It is common damn sense. And every other country in the world that's not in the West, unfortunately, has strong borders to prevent our criminals from getting to them and to prevent the criminals from around them from getting in either. That's why we have borders, so that we can check the people that are coming in to make sure that they are useful to society and that our people will be safe from the dregs of theirs. Wanting strong borders is not xenophobic. It's sensible. Wanting jobs to stay in the country and go to the people of that country is sensible because it encourages the economy. It stimulates it. <sighs> Wanting people to acknowledge biology. It's not transphobic. It's not homophobic. 
It's not any phobic. It's science! Yeah, there have been discoveries that actually point out the difference in a trans person's brain. If you don't have any of those differences, you're not trans. And making a trend out of it is not helping the trans community. Because these are real people with a real thing. It's like being gay back in the 90s. It was popular. This isn't a trend. And you should stop treating it like that. I am sick to death of seeing t grown ass people behaving like toddlers throwing a tantrum whenever they get a decision they don't like. Or whenever anyone tries to tell them the truth. Truth these days is hate speech. The truth is biology is real. Your sex is not a social construct. Your gender is not a social construct. Your race is not a social construct. Your age is not a social construct. Stop trying t to tell us that your bullshit is what we need to follow. That's your bullshit. You want to do it? Fine. Don't make me follow it. Okay? I've never been the most feminine of women. But I am a woman. Just because I'm not feminine doesn't mean I'm trans. Just because my little nephew painted his toenails when he was three doesn't mean he should go on hormone blockers. And just because I'm black doesn't mean I think that we should kill all cops. Just because I'm black doesn't mean I'm afraid of cops. Just because I'm black doesn't mean I follow anything that Black Lives Matter says. And I don't have to. Because we are not a hive mind. People are sick and tired of the PC bullshit. And we are pushing back. Because the world is going to shit by following that. Look around. Look at Europe. It's crumbling. Because police are afraid to do their jobs now. Because they're going to be called racist. Because our economy is struggling under the pressure of having to support so very many people who don't pay back into it. Welfare only goes so far. I highly doubt I'm going to be getting my social security when it's finally time for me to retire because it's gone to someone else. We're sick of it. And you need to stop playing identity politics. If you ever, ever want to win anything again, focus on actual policy. Listen to what people actually want. What people wanted when they voted in Trump was a change. They wanted their jobs back. They wanted their safety back. They wanted a stimulated economy. They wanted better education. They wanted a health care system that didn't force them to get insurance that they couldn't afford or be fined. Over here, we want jobs back. We want to be able to trade with other countries that we have to go through so much red tape while we're in the EU. We want our safety too. We don't want another Rotherham. We want to know that, yes, we can finally speak the truth again without, be call without being called names. 
It's this pushback. And every time you see nationalist movement happening, it's pushback. So stop complaining. Stop identity politics. Stop calling people names whenever they argue with you. And listen to what they're actually saying. And try to figure out if maybe, maybe, they might have a point. Or you might need to rephrase your own in such a way that it doesn't just piss people off. Because screaming at people just, make, just shuts you out. We tune you out when you start screaming. Which is what most parents do when their toddlers are throwing a tantrum in the middle of a store. It's what I see every single day because I'm in retail. I see children throwing themselves on the floor. I hear them screaming halfway down the store and their parents are paying them no mind. Why? Because they know they'll tire themselves out eventually. Or they know I'm not gonna win this. I'm just gonna walk away. That's what we do whenever you start screaming all of your buzzwords at us. That's why you have so many S wrecked SJW videos. It's because it's stupid. It's childish. We see it's childish. For some strange reason, you can't. And childishness does nothing in an adult world. Grow up. Listen. Talk to people and not scream at them. Have an actual debate. And you might start winning again. God forbid you do, but you might. <laughs>